so many things that that uh, that represent me because I'm finally in a position mentally where I'm comfortable in my own skin. Like I could, I could obviously, I can honestly, brother, I can honestly say that I've arrived at a place. Mm. You know, like our whole life we we chasing, we chasing something. We on a journey, so to speak. But I personally feel like you have to get there. Where are you going? You have to arrive at a place, and that place to me is a, a place of comfort, comfortability, vulnerability. That's where all the strength is at. You know? Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Tech, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. And I really wanted y'all to see that message from Royce the Five Nine, man. Shout out to Royce the Five Nine, man. Because listen, bro, I know the feeling, bro, what he's talking about. You know what I mean? Often in life, bro, we go through it and we trying to find ourselves. You know what I mean? We trying to figure out who we are. A lot of the times when you're doing that, you're not really comfortable in your own skin because you're trying different things out. You're trying to discover who you are within, bro. But once you find that person, bro, and you do become comfortable in your own skin, listen, bro, it's nothing like it. You know what I'm saying? The things that you do will just come natural. You know what I'm saying? And that's it's exactly how he said, bro. You find your real strength in that. You know what I'm saying? Something that's always been buried inside of you. You find when you figure out who you are and you're comfortable in your own skin and you're living how you want to live and you're doing what you want to do. You know what I mean? And that's the space that we thrive to get to over here. You know what I'm saying? But it's damn near impossible with all these distractions. It's damn near impossible with all these addictions. It's damn near impossible with, you know, these demons that that's constantly trying to get at you, constantly trying to sway you this way, that way. You know, it's damn near, you know, it's tough. It's tough when you in certain environments around certain people to be able to discover who you are and then be able to actually be comfortable in your own skin because a lot of things affect that. You know, you got people that want you to live like how they live. You know, you got you could possibly be in an environment where everybody doing the same shit and you know it look cool. It make you want to do it. You feel like you supposed to be doing that shit, bro. And then you know you just had this feeling in the inside of you that's making you uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Where you start to question yourself. Am I supposed to be doing this? You know, is this is this all my life cracked up to be? Is just gang banging, hanging out, doing drugs or on the game all the time? You know, you know, in a relationship that, you know, with a female that don't really even, you know, build me up or like me. You know, you start thinking about all this shit. Am I supposed to be doing all of this shit? You know what I mean? You be in that space, you be in that space, bro. And it's like your mind is all over the place because something is telling you that, hey, bro, this ain't right. Something is telling you like, hey, bro, this ain't you. Something is telling you like, hey, bro, there's more out there, bro. And that's the most high speaking to you, bro. You know, that's the most high sending you clues. That feeling that you feel is not by coincidence. When you look around and feel like an outsider, bro, that's not by coincidence. You know, when you're doing certain activities and things that you're doing, bro, it's not by coincidence. That's what landed us here, bro, because it's all, it always was something in the inside of us that was telling us, like, hey, bro, I don't think this is natural. I don't think it's natural to, 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 to be chasing hoes and, and fapping all the time and watching porn. Am I supposed to be watching this shit? Am I supposed to be just fucking milking myself of my life force energy? You know what I mean? Am I supposed to be, you know, just living like this and doing nothing and feeling how I feel? Nah, bro, you're not supposed to be living like that. You know, you're not supposed to be low on energy all the time. You're not supposed to be pedestalizing these women and putting them above you like you was doing. You know what I mean? You're not supposed to be just, you know, devaluing yourself and giving everybody your energy, bro. Something was telling you like, man, I don't think I'm supposed to be giving everybody my energy. Who said I was, you know, how, who said I was supposed to be doing this shit? I didn't sign up for this. A lot of times we be having those moments like, man, I, I didn't sign up for this shit. 
You know what I mean? Who volunteered me for this shit, bruh? And then you got to continue to find ways to shake that shit off and, and, and move around. You know what I'm saying? But when you finally figure that out, bruh, and you comfortable on, in your own skin and you doing what you love, bruh, listen, bruh, it's nothing like it. That's where you find your strength. You know what I mean? You see how strong you really is. Like It's like, it's like when Thor figured out that he didn't need his hammer. You know, I didn't told y'all about this example, bro. You know what I mean? Odin was trying to tell him, bro, that's just a fucking hammer, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it'd be the same way in our life. We be feeling like we just need all of this shit. And this is what give us our strength. We need, we be thinking we need money because that give us our strength. You know what I mean? We need women because that give us our strength. You know, we need these cars because that give us our strength. We need these looks because that, that give us our strength. And Odin, like, dog, that shit is nothing. You don't even know what's inside of you, bro. You the fucking god of thunder. And that's the same with y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know what's inside of you, but you will never figure that out if you become too obsessed and think you need all of these things, bro. That's why it's important to move around. That's why it's important to get out there and live your life instead of just, you know, allowing your surroundings to control you. Allowing all of these things out here to control you, allowing the flesh to control you because that's what it is, bro. The flesh be controlling us. The flesh be wanting us to fap. The flesh be wanting us to do drugs. The flesh be wanting us to chase women. It be the flesh. The flesh be wanting us to eat bad, eat all this sugar, drink all this pop. You know what I mean? Eat all these burgers. It's your flesh. And when you giving in to the flesh, bro, listen, dog, you destined to lose. Anytime you giving in to the flesh, you are destined to lose. So it's up to you to fight all of this shit. You got to fight these spirits off and like, hey, you know what? It's, it's almost like it's almost like you traveling through this thick mud. You know what I mean? Think of it like that. You traveling through this thick mud and you trying to find something, bro. That thick mud is life. You know what I'm saying? And this, and this, and, 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 and while you traveling through this thick mud, you trying to find something that is also buried in the inside of you too. You know what I'm saying? It's something that's that you trying to find through life, but it's even within you. But unless you find this thing through this mud, through your life, then you will never discover who you are. So understand, bro, oftentimes, bro, listen, dog, if we just sitting still, that mud just is just turning into cement around our feet. You know what I'm saying? That mud is just getting hard and it's just hardening all around us, bro. And if we continue to just sit still and not get out there and discover who we are until we get to a space to where it's like, yo, I realize this is what I'm supposed to do. I realize now, listen, I'm comfortable in my own skin now. I could talk how I want to talk. I could live how I want to live. I'm doing what I want to do, bro. I am in a great space in my life, bro. Until you get to that point, bro. Understand, dog. Listen, you got work to do. You got work to do, but sitting around, sitting still, you know what I mean? Letting that mud just turn into cement around you, doing everything that everybody else doing, living how everybody else living. You know what I'm saying? Listen, bro. Listen, you ain't going to never get to that space. But the goal is to get exactly where he talking about, bro, because you can see it, bro. And oftentimes, man, you're going to have to do things in order to get there. You know, you're going to have to live your life. You're going to have to go through some shit. You know what I mean? You're going to have to jump through some motherfucking obstacles. You know what I mean? You're going to have to go through some fucking pain. You know what I mean? Oftentimes, bro, we try to dodge that shit. You know what I'm saying? We be sitting there trying to do everything to try to protect us from certain things, bro. And listen, dog, you got to have faith in God and understand, like, listen, you know, nobody leave this earth unscathed. Uh, nobody leave this earth, this earth without feeling some type of pain, you know, without going through something, bruh. But when you get to that destination, it makes it all worth it. It make it all worth it, bruh. You're going to have to feel some shit before you get to that championship ring. Jordan, listen, bruh. Listen, he had to go through the fucking Detroit Pistons. You know what I mean? The bad boys, bruh. You know, where Dennis Rodman was there, you had Dumars there, you had a uh, motherfucking, uh, who's the tall white boy, they had that, man, listen, bro, Isaiah Thomas was up in that mug, man, and you had that, and, and, and they out there body slamming motherfuckers, 
They done made Jordan bleed and everything, bruh. But Jordan had to get through them. Jordan had to go through a gauntlet of motherfuckers. He had to get through the fucking Detroit Pistons. He had to fucking deal with New York. He had to fucking deal with the Lakers. He had to fucking deal with Boston. He had to go through all of that shit and take his bruises until he got to where he got to. You know what I mean? Until he got his first championship. But he had to fight all of these motherfuckers first. You know what I'm saying? But guess what, though? When he finally, when he had to go through those battles, a lot of that shit is what made him a savage. You know what I mean? Some people, while you sitting there trying to dodge this and that, and you out here, you know, trying to stay safe all the time in your comfortable space, doing what you do, you're not growing in that space. So Jordan actually had to go through that type of pain, had to go through those battles, had to play some of those greats in order to become the greatness that he is. In order to become savage, bro, you got to go against savages, bro. And this life can be savage. But sitting there in the corner ain't going to get you to where you trying to go. Sitting there trying to stay protected all the time and, and all of this other shit ain't going to get you where you need to go, bro. Yeah, you know, protect your energy and all of that shit. But you still got to get out there. Sometimes you're going to get burned. Sometimes you might not. You know what I'm saying? But you would never know until you test those waters. Don't sit around and let that cement, that 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 mud just turn into cement on you because you trying to be motherfucking safe. You know what I mean? You will never get to that space that Roy's talking about just playing it safe and not living your life. Nah, bro. This whole thing is a journey, just like he said. It's a journey, which means you have to move, which means you have to go, which means you have to explore, which means you have to live. You know what I'm saying? That means you have to live, bro. That's what make it a journey. But if I'm sitting still and ain't going nowhere, then how is this a fucking journey? I'm sitting still. I'm doing what everybody else want to do. I'm doing what everybody else want me to do. I'm living how everybody else want me to live. I'm going along with what society want me to do. So guess what, bro? When you ain't, when you, when you ain't going against the grain, bro, listen, you living the same. When you ain't going against the grain, you living the same. And getting on this journey right now, we went against the grain by doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? Look how enlightened we are now. Because we had to go against the grain, bro. But that's where everything, dog. It's not just this journey. It might be against your parents. You know what I'm saying? It might be against your wife or your girlfriend. You know what I mean? It might be just, it, it might be against your job. Who knows? But you might, you're going to have to go against the grain. Otherwise, you're going to stay the same, bro. You ain't going to never get that raise. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to never get her to act right. You know what I mean? Your parents ain't going to never understand you. And so what? So what? You got that vision for a reason, bro. That's your map quest. That's your map quest, fool. So understand, man, get to that point in your life and stop playing it safe, man, and get out here, man, and figure out who you are so you could be comfortable in your, in your own skin. Because I know what it's like to not be comfortable in my own skin, and it sucks. You know what I'm saying? It sucks. It feel like you just being something you're not. You around people where you don't even you don't even know. You don't even know how you got there. You know what I mean? And it feel like you just getting played with like motherfuckers just got strings controlling you, bruh. You know what I'm saying? No matter how you feel, bruh, sometimes you put yourself in a space, in an area to where it's still like that. To where you getting controlled and you not doing what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's time to start changing the narrative of this shit so we can elevate and grow out here and get in that space to where listen bro we comfortable in our own skin and we living how we want to live and we doing what we want to do and all that good shit bro because that's life and that's where our real strength is at all right and that's my word man my name jc and Take. holla at y'all later man peace First, I'ma get on my grind. Then, second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I gotta to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So, as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get.